Hello YouTube, so I'm back for the tenth tutorial. Um hope you're liking these 3DS Max quick fire tutorials. It's not taking ages to learn something, just quick tutorials to get you introduced to the program. So in this tutorial we're going to look at something called bridge or bridging. Um does exactly what it says on the tin basically. You can bridge two parts together. So say if I have a box here, lift it up and a box over here. And I want to pretty much create a bridge between these two top panels but remove the insides. So what we'll do is select them both and convert it both to an editable poly. See if I can show you this. There. And we'll select one and delete the inside, just like that. Don't worry about it being so like thin, it doesn't matter yet. And we'll untick that, scroll down to attach and click attach on this one. And now we've attached them, we can go back up, click our uh, polygon and then delete the edge on this. Simple. So if we press F4, I don't know if that's going to mark, you'll be able to, let's just change the colour of that by clicking up here, because that's not really visible. That's better. You, if we press F4, you can see you can see the edges. So the edges light up more so we can see them. So if we click the edge mode, now which way, if we wanted to merge these two on here, there are two ways, well there are many ways we could do it. We could click and hold shift and just drag it across. Yeah, it's bridged it right, but it's not level, so are we going to sit messing with it like this? No. We could grab the verti vertices and just like move it around. See if we can, like, you can't clone that. We could pull it apart across, but that just creates a triangle. It's not what we want. So, what we do is for the bridging thing, all we do is click the two edges, what we want to bridge, and We'll just click bridge here. Simple as that. They are now fully connected, no, no, nothing stopping it. If we look at the settings, there's not very many settings. You've got segments, so you can like choose how many segments it has inside. So, so if you didn't have F4 on, you won't be able to see that. You've got smoothness, it shows how smooth it is. You can't really do this because this is a plane, you can't get smooth on a plane. You get the adjacent, which you can't really do anything again because it's on a plane. Again, half of these don't even do anything because we're on a plane, but you can do more than one if you like. We could do this one up to, say, this one here. So, just a bit random. Ah, there's the glitch, not a glitch, there's the way, one of its rules. If two things are connected, like this and this box, these are connected because we've attached them and bridged them, it will not bridge. I don't even think we'll be able to bridge these two here. Yeah, well you can, but these two won't bridge. But if you've tried to bridge these two, nothing. So it just there's some weird rules you have to get your head around bridging. But I use bridging quite a lot in mine. So say we have I'll just give you another example. A sphere. And I wanted to convert this to an editable poly. Say I were trying to create some eyes for our character. Like so, but then I realised, oh no, I've accidentally deleted another one. Um, but say I've done loads of work on top of his head, so I've like got rid of some hair, done all this, done his hairlines. But then I went back and saw it. What do we do? Well, if we were to like just drag it up, well, it's Sevilla's round, isn't it? It's not going to work very well. So the best way I usually do it is bridge. So set the two edges, bridge. Click. Perfect you can't even tell that was removed that's how good this tool is really simple tool really short tutorial see you next time